Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about signs it's time to break up with your boyfriend. So let's talk about the backstory. I received some DMs, some Instagram DMs from ladies who are kind of fed up in their relationships but they're not entirely sure if it's time to break up with their boo. And so I decided to put together some tips for you to kind of identify, you know, trying to try to get a feel for if it's time to break up, if you should break up. Now for me, struggle relationships, a bunch of red flags in your relationships, they turn into struggle marriages or struggle long-term relationships with a couple kids dro dropped up in there somewhere. And so as far as possible, as someone who is in marriage ministry, I'm the founder of a women's ministry called Wifer. I would encourage you to protect yourself from a struggle marriage or a struggle long-term situationship. And so that's kind of where these tips originated from. Also my personal experience, I've been through quite a few breakups. Some hurt, some didn't, and ultimately is all for the best because God's plan A is better than any plan B. So number one, you've lost your peace. Something about him or the relationship just isn't sitting right with you. You feel like something is off and your intuition is going off and in your heart of hearts, you know this ain't it. Something deep down is telling you this just ain't it. Don't you agree, Splinter? Thank you. Number two, your needs aren't being met. And so in a relationship, you could have basic needs, respect, loyalty, trust, good communication, but you may have additional requirements. So you may wanna date someone who has ambition and the person that you're dating has zero ambition. Or you may want someone, oh my cats are just embarrassing me. <laughs> You may want to date, like for me, this may seem shallow, but good table manners was something very essential for me. And so it wasn't the only reason I broke up with that person, but that was kind of on my list of things that I didn't want my future husband to have. Another one that was more of a deal breaker for me is um, throwing trash out of the window. And so I believe in being a good steward of your surroundings. And so it was important to me that the person that I raised my children with didn't pollute you know the environment that is very important to me you know and so I didn't necessarily break up with him just because of those reasons but that kind of added on to reasons I couldn't see myself long term with that person and if you can't see yourself long term with that person you speak up and they're not changing they're not doing anything about it or they just like this is me like this is what I do you just got to get over it then clearly that may not be someone you want to continue with long term in a relationship that's just, you know, my advice to you to prevent you from a struggle long-term relationship or a struggle marriage, trust me. So <clears throat> yeah, if he's not meeting your basic requirements for a relationship and only you know those things, then it may be time to let him go. These are just things to think about. Should I leave this relationship? It's, it's not, you know, you see these things and then you must leave. These are just things to consider. Another one, he's unfaithful repeatedly. Now, I don't mind, you know, a one-off situation. You know, if things happen, um, people are getting used to being in a relationship. They may have had some stuff in the past, some baggage in the past. Is That's not justification. It's not okay, but things happen. So you forgive, you decide to move on, you move on. Some people have had happy marriages, are in happy marriages today, even though they, they had infidelity in the beginning or at one point in the relationship. Now you have a different problem entirely if this person continuously cheats throughout the relationship. You've mentioned it, you've caught him over and over and over and over and over again. This is just a part of their character. They have commitment issues. You may not want to involve yourself in something like this because you're asking to be hurt. So this may be a relationship that you want to walk away from. And again, we're only talking about dating relationships here. This is not talking about marriage only when it's we're talking about your boyfriend obviously with marriage there are a whole ball game of other considerations at play but i just want to talk about singles i just want to talk to singles and so if you see this behavior definitely i would say it's time to get on out of there another one your eyes are wondering and your mind is wondering so if you find that you like all of a sudden or like over time this person starts to seem more attractive or like you keep wondering like what would, it be, what would it be like to date that person or I wonder like you are all over the place it doesn't sound like you're committed to the relationship um it may be that you need time away 
It may be that you need a break. It may be that you need to break up. It may be that you need some time alone. Like, be single, have some time to focus on you. Why is it that I have, you know, I want to jump from relationship to relationship? If you are a serial dater, you know, try to understand what it is about me that isn't satisfied with a person. Like, really take time to get to know you. So I would say, in that instance, if you don't want to break up, take some time to yourself and really think about why is it that I'm having these thoughts? It may be that you cannot, you don't like to be alone, you have a problem with commitment, and so you have a bigger thing, you know, to address, a root issue to address. Another one, nothing is changing, so you keep bringing it up. The communication, you know, you keep bringing up things that are important to you and you just see no changes in the relationship. You don't see changes in his work ethic and his communication and his affection and his attention. Nothing. You see no changes. And your relationship has been like this for over a year where you're just going back and forth and you just don't see the growth and improvement that you expected to see. That may be an indicator that it's time to leave this relationship alone. This person at this stage of his life is not who you need. He may grow to be that later. You know, it may take some more patience and it's up to you what you want to invest in the relationship. He may need more patience. He may need a little bit more from you depending on how old he is. You know, but generally speaking, you may want to take a break, especially if this is frustrating for you, and let him do some more growing up on his own. Or you find someone who, you know, is at the level that you're at. And then finally, oh no, not finally. Another one is he makes you feel stupid or crazy. So this, who I went through this, where when you bring things up, especially like infidelity, and they're like, that didn't happen, you know, or you, you're making up stuff. And then all of a sudden, everything comes out and you see that you were right. They were unfaithful. And so they try to make you feel crazy in that interim period where I like, no, you're making that up. Like, that's just my friend. And what you're talking about? Um, you, meanwhile, your intuition is flaring up. So there's that. And then there's people who make you feel stupid. They talk down to you. Um, they say that your opinions don't matter. They make fun of you. Like if you, you know, have weight, they call you fat. People who call you out of your name. People who make you feel like you're incapable, like you can't do things by yourself. You do not want to be with that type of person long term. That is detrimental to your mental health, to your growth and development. You're going to leave that relationship with baggage and things that you need to unravel and heal from. Definitely leave that one be. <laughs> and finally, he's abusive in any way. I'm talking physically, emotionally, emotionally, sexually, physically. Did I say physically first? But well, whatever. No matter what type of abuse, you don't need that. You don't need anyone calling you out your name. You don't need anyone slapping you, anyone hitting you, anyone throwing your stuff outside, you know, anyone trying to manipulate your friendships, anyone trying to manipulate how you operate with your family. You don't need any of that, any type of abuse. And so that, again, will take time to heal from if you're in that situation. And there's always kind of flags about that type of behavior, very controlling behaviors, um, you know, even when they may push you or grab your wrist a lot, those are signs that you just don't need to be there. And I remember I was dating this guy when I was like 18. He used to grab my wrist a lot when he was angry and he did it so much that my wrist started to hurt. Like today, even in play, you can't grab my wrist as a, as a joke because it, it still hurts. And so I, I was like, um, I'm not feeling that. And so we ended up breaking up for different reasons. I think one of them was his anger issues. Um, and then later on, I found out that he was abusing his baby mother. And so this person who started out just grabbing my wrist ended up really being an abusive boyfriend later on. And so I really dodged a bullet there. But I also was in an abusive relationship a couple years later in college. And that's a whole other different video. But I have a history of this. And so I know if you see the red flags, if it happened once or twice, you know, it's not for you. It's too much to heal from. They need healing. They need to grow. And they don't need you to be a punching bag, to be honest. So that's my seven tips of signs that it may be time to break up with your boyfriend. Again, there are other things at play in terms of husbands. And I just wanted to talk to the singles today about signs it may be time to break up. And so if you're at that place and you're feeling like, you know, something's wrong, something isn't right, you know, really take some time to pray and say, Lord, please reveal the truth to me. Should I stay or should I go? I've been in situations twice where I said, God, should I stay or should I go? 
and one relationship he explicitly told me through a song that it was time to go <laughs> another relationship again he explicitly told me through a song it was time to stay and so it was just a matter of like perfect timing and then my spirit my intuition was like yes that's a message for me and so you may be in that same situation just keep praying for truth pray for wisdom pray for discernment and then you know god is going to order your steps and direct your path so all the best to you i pray that if you do break up that it's a clean break that you know they're fine you're fine that all of the there's a lot of things that come with the breakup in terms of you have to get over you're going to see them with somebody else you know navigating soul ties that's a whole other thing but if you feel like god is telling you to break up with this person then the first step of obedience is to break up and then let god take you every step of the way afterwards no it will not be easy but with god all things are possible i'm praying for you i love you and i hope this helps bye